video we're going to talk about security groups. Uh, we're going to uh, create, modify and delete security groups. We're also going to create, modify and delete security policies. And uh, we're going to map security policies to security groups. So, um, well, I think in my previous videos, I think I already spoke about security groups now and then. Um, you can reach the security groups menu when you go to security group and then you have a service composer here and in the service composer you have security groups and security policies okay you already see that I created a few security groups um, and um, I think an, another way where you can find it is to go to the NA6 manager and in the manager you can go to service groups, no, security groups here, yeah. And there you will see the same security groups as well. So I usually like going, not going to the manager, but I used to, you, I like using the service composer part here. And a security group is what it says what it is, and it will basically, uh, collect different things together and put different VMs into one group for example so you can create a test group and you can specify dynamic memberships or you can do static objects to include so right now um, you can for example well you have different criteria: uh, computer OS, computer name, virtual machine name, a security tag or an entity and you can have contains, ends with, equals to, not equals to, starts with. Um, so those are all like parameters that you can use and type in something specific. And then you can add another one and then add another one. You can also add another, members, uh, another membership criteria where you can say or, or it has to be and. So and this computer, for example, needs to be a Windows... I'm just typing something in here, Linux and um, OS X and you want to match on another thing that where you say okay the computer uh, the virtual machine name needs to contain a uh, web okay so here you have all the uh, virtual machines that, that has web in the name that has or uh, Windows running and Linux running and OS X running, for example Apache or IAS or Apache again, um, and then hit next, and then you can also statically assign complete clusters, a logical switch, and all of these different object types. Um, right now I'm just going to leave this blank. Hit next. I don't want anything to be excluded, and then I can hit finish. And eventually it will come up with a security group. Right now here in the um, app 01 and app 03, you can see that two virtual machines are currently a member of this group. And the way how I did it is I did a dynamic membership, but it was not completely dynamic though, because in the dynamic membership I just specified a VM name, which equals to, and then the exact name of the VM and the rest I just left blank so right now you just don't see anything here that is selected not see anything here and then I hit finish and then eventually it came up with okay two virtual machines are now part of this group which is which are these two here um, I also have another one sec group and uh, sec, uh, LB sec group so this one is a load balancing security group and I created that based on a security tag and as you can see here, membership, all servers that has the security tag LB web are going to be placed automatically in this group. And these are two. And as you can see here, these two lab server web one and web two have that security uh, tag and are being placed in this group. So that's how the well security groups work. So we also have security policies. Um, Right now, you will see that my list is empty. I will create one where I, for example, say security policy deny HTTP, okay? 
So um, here we're not going to do anything with guest introspection services, but here, uh, for example, we can have a firewall rule, or we can have a, a policy based on guest introspection services, which are third-party uh, machines. It can be a virus scanner or it can be uh, an uh, an IPS, uh, something that 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 uh, inspects the traffic. Um, but right now we're just going to make some firewall rules. Here we can do block block HTTP, and we can block. We can specify a source here. So in the source we can well kind of do any select a complete security group. So, well, why not select the security group um, as the source, or we can do any. Um, right now, I will just do any. I will want to block anything. And the source is also going to be anything, and I just want to block it. Uh, I want. To, I can choose to log it. The service, I can change, so that's going to be HTTP. just plain old HTTP and then hit OK so right now you will see that uh, I have created a security policy and that's good that that is actually uh, um, well there's a firewall rule in that policy so I'm not going to do anything with network inter introspection services so let's it finish and here you will see that I created the policy successful so what I can do if I go to firewall right now I can see that the SP deny HTTP has come up here, and the the, the rule is uh, is automatically placed into this uh, distributed firewall under a, a separate section uh, with exactly the same name as I named the security policy. So I can apply that security policy. Um, I can apply that security policy to that group, and when I right click, I can apply policy and apply the policy to this specific or to any group that I created for example this one and hit I, when I hit OK it will say applying uh, security group and now that that policy is now tied to that security group and it's applied to app Zero one and app zero three. That security group. So, I mean, you can see that the sync is in progress, um, and it's successful. So, um, what another? I can also delete it again. Let's remove it. And right now is going to remove the complete policy, including the firewall rules, which should be gone here right now. Yes, they're gone. So you can you, you can see this a little bit as uh, um, back then you had the what's the, I think the ah uh, yeah the the, the ASA firewalls uh, of Cisco are also working with the uh, kind of security group but they call it object groups and in the object group you have an object and in the object you can place another object or you can place uh, a network etc and this is kind of the same uh, structure uh, 